Hello, and welcome back to Forge Yourself Forward. I'm your host, Mike. I, like I guarantee you and everyone else out in the world, has an inner critic that at times have stopped them from either doing something that they really wanted to pursue, learning something new, or trying something completely different that would be so outside their comfort zone because they were afraid of what other people would think, <clears throat> how they'd be judged. It didn't occur to me how strong this feeling is or how early in life it actually comes to be alive in some ways until my older son was telling me how he was afraid to wear his brand new lacrosse shorts because he didn't know if other people would make fun of him. Now my son's six years old. They're brand new lacrosse shorts he wanted so badly. They're really cool looking and he was afraid to wear them because he thought other people might think they look funny or be something that maybe they just wouldn't like. I'm not sure exactly. But when you, I talked to him about it, the one thing that came to mind was, this is no different than somebody who's 60, 36, 16, 6 years old. <clears throat> we all have these inner critics, these voices in our head that try to stop us from doing something because we're afraid of what other people think. It doesn't matter that he really wanted them. It doesn't matter that objectively he thought they looked cool he was afraid what other people would think <clears throat> got me thinking how often i've stopped doing things pursuing new things learning new things even doing this podcast it took me a long time because i thought other people would find it silly or not want to listen or think that anything i'm talking about is ridiculous but you have to overcome that fear sometimes in order to do that Think about people who had either pursued pursued music, acting, writing, you know, things that are like, well, you have this really good, stable career. Why would you want to be a writer? Because that's where their passion is. Because that's where their heart and soul are. And it's something you have to consider. So in talking to my son, one of the things that we did was we said, well, did you remember what anybody, any of your friends wore last week? And he's like, no. Has anyone ever made fun of you for you know, wearing shorts before? No. Do you like to wear shorts? Yeah. So why wouldn't you wear these? He goes, I just thought other people would make fun of me. But should that stop you from wearing what you want to wear? And then he said, no, it shouldn't. I should wear what I want. Exactly. Look, I'm not going to say you're not going to get ridiculed. I'm not going to say there aren't going to be times where people will say mean things. But if you're not true to yourself, if you're not pursuing what you find important what you want, I can guarantee you one thing, the opinions of others will be the least of your worries because you're going to get a lot older and you're going to realize that you missed out on you being you. And that's really what life is. It's a time to just accept who you are. Something took me a long time. You know, I, I was talking to my coach the other day and I post something in a group and I said to him do you want me to stop because I feel like I'm, I'm posting a lot and I don't really want to dominate the space and his response was something that I've been kind of scratching my head about for a while he goes why not dominate it lead if that's what's in you do it and it's something that I've been thinking about quite a bit how many times have I played small how many times have I stopped doing what I was going to do I was afraid what other people would think or I'm being too aggressive or I'm being too assertive or I'm being too loud or I'm being too talkative. Well, maybe in some instances that's not always a positive, but the vast majority of the time, that's just me. Maybe I should accept myself for me. Maybe you should too. It's not the easiest process to accept ourselves. I think a lot of people go through life entirely listening to that critic instead of listening to their heart finding out who they truly are, what truly matters to them, and what would give them a sense of meaning. I think that if we all try to quiet that inner critic by realizing what we truly want, and that in reality, most people are so self-absorbed in themselves because life is hard, that they're not really paying attention to what you're doing, not in a malicious way, but in a way that just simply says, listen, I got a busy life too. I got to try and take care of myself. I can't be busy making fun of you or being critical of you. I don't have that kind of time. 
And I guarantee you 99% of people are in that boat. They're just trying to get by. Life's hard, a lot of challenges, and we're all just trying to exist. So give yourself the permission to quiet that inner critic and say, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But that's life. But then at least you dared something that made you happy. Something that you wanted. Something that you mattered. And you know what? He wore those shorts today, my son. And he was so happy he did. He loved them. He thought it was great. And I was proud of him. But I was mostly proud because he did it despite the fact that he was a little scared. To me, that was what mattered most. And so it should matter most for you. So even do it if you're a little scared. Quiet that inner critic. And who knows? You may find a path that you didn't even know existed. That's so much better than where you are now. Thanks for joining.